Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is April and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace. And I do have a Kittizen account. Um, I've only purchased things from Kittizen. I have not yet made a sale. So thank you so much for checking out this video. It will be a what sold video for the week of 1115 to 1121. Think that that's right um we'll see when we get into it i'm pretty sure that's right yes that's right um it was a great week i'm very very happy about it i uh in total i made one thousand eight hundred thirty eight dollars and forty cents that's the actual revenue and then the amount that was deposited or the amount that i made and will be deposited is $1,284.34. That is across four platforms. It includes Poshmark, Poshmark, <laughs> Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. So I just started cross posting to Facebook Marketplace just to see if I could drum up some more sales for this fourth quarter. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I will be starting with Poshmark and then moving over to. Um, Looks like I have eBay up, but I know I don't have eBay. I accidentally didn't close those. Mercari and then eBay and then Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully this goes smoothly and let's just get started so that we don't waste any time. So the first um, item that you see here is a dead stock downfilled vintage 1980s Windsor Bay teal winter coat. It was a large. Um, it was in a brand new jacket. I picked it up, I think, for $4.00 at the local Salvation Army. And I should say that my average cost of goods is around $3. Um, so that is what I use as a figure when I figure out how, how much my cost of goods are for all of the items. So that sold for 35. That took about three months to sell. And I got that at the local Salvation Army. This next item I got at a garage sale this summer. It was a vintage leather document holder. It was a really amazing utility case. Had this uh, crest um I sold i had it listed i think for 60 and when somebody made an offer i think they made an offer of 25 i countered and they accepted so that was great the next item is uh, a bad a bad purchase <laughs> so i was trying about maybe six months ago to start picking up a little bit more vintage items and i picked up this vintage shirt that had the built-in tank and I just thought it was fabulous looking. It was so 1980s, so Cindy Lauper to me. Um, I think I had it listed for 25. I think I picked it up for $3 and then it just sat forever. So when I got an offer for 10, I took it. This was a bundle. Um, I picked up this denim Dooney and Burke, not realizing that a strap was broken, which was super disappointing. So I'll show that to you. So it was broken right there. Besides that, it was an excellent condition. Um, the Premier Design earrings I got in a lot from Goodwill. I just buy bulk jewelry when I am in need of jewelry. And then the Sperry um, scarf was brand new. And I got that for about a dollar fifty each from somebody who was selling wholesale. I just happened to see it on Facebook. So I sold those for $45. And um, I gave a shipping discount. So I made $34.50. Didn't make a lot of money on that, but I was really happy to move that Dooney and Bork with the, um, with the damage. That was the only bundle to the thing that I had. These little baby mocks came in a thread up, um, kids shoe box. And I got quite a few small pairs, like size four and five. And I was going to wait and go ahead and list them as a lot. But then I just decided that I would list them individually and these sold within a day. So I think I listed them for 15 and they sold on an offer for 10. So the average cost of goods for those boxes, I think is like $4. So didn't make a lot, but hopefully some of the other better um, items will sell higher. And actually one of the pair of boots was brand new and I kept it for my stepdaughter for winter. So that was great. This unbranded, um, set of pearls necklace came in another goodwill um lot that i had so i sold it for 20 i think i had it listed for 25 and i thought that was a great offer those goodwill boxes i try not to spend or goodwill lots um, big you know big groups i try not to spend more than a dollar or two per item this eliza j dress sold to a woman who 
went back and forth about being able to ship it. Um, I got this in a thread of 200 pound women's mixed rescue. I made my money back on that mixed rescue within like three weeks. So everything at this point is profit. I think my average cost of goods was $2 and 40 cents at the time I made the video. But in going through some of the items, I did end up having to throw a couple more items away because they were stained. So this sold on an offer for 32. I think I had it listed for 45. This Alex and Annie bracelet I got from Goodwill. It did have some damage. I sold it for $10. My average cost of goods for those bracelets are, is like a dollar. So this Neiman Marcus sequin mini, dress, uh, mini skirt was brand new with tags. I got this in a thread up box from January of last year. Um, I knew I just had to wait until the right time to sell it. I don't remember what my cost of goods was for that box, but I did sell it on an offer for $23. This Emporio Amani t-shirt um, was in good condition. I got it from the last 200 pound thread up rescue box I was just telling you about that I made my money back within three weeks. And I think I had this listed for like 22 and I got an offer for 15, so I took it. This Monet uh, long necklace is another one of the items that I got in a Goodwill um, big, large group, big, large, large lot. So I sold it for 18. That was an offer. I think I had it listed for like 22 or 23. I find that vintage Monet and vintage Napier does very well. Um, if you are in the jewelry business, those two items are, those two brands are great sellers. If you don't mind making like 20, um, 15 to $25. This cabbie vest came in that same 200 pound women's mixed rescue. It did have a um, stain here. Uh, along kind of like to the right of the zipper a little bit lower and it had some um, pilling that I did have to depill it but um, comps were around $18 so I accepted an $18 offer on that. These Eddie Bauer straight leg pants I literally don't remember where I got them so I sold them for $16 on an offer they were fleece they were great pants if they'd been my size I probably would have kept them because it's winter here in northern New York. Show me your Mumu Hacienda dress is new. It was new with tags or is new with tags. Um, this I got in a Jomar thread up box or third thread up box. Oh my God. Okay. I am a teacher and right now things are absolutely insane. So my brain's like after a day of work um, and it is Thanksgiving week. So my brain really is mush. We're hosting Thanksgiving this, this year. So I think my average cost of goods from this Jomar Show me, show me your Moomoo box that I bought maybe this past year in March, but I literally never listed this until like maybe eight weeks ago because I just did not want to steam all of these dresses because basically I was being lazy. Um, I definitely have made my money back on that Jomar box. I don't speak very highly of a lot of the Jomar boxes, but this one was pretty good and I like the shoe boxes. So this sold on an offer. I think I had it listed for 65. Probably could have gotten a little bit more, but I just wanted to move it. Because I still have more to list, believe it or not. Um, I felt like I was steaming for days. Sold navy blue dress. Um, sold on an offer. Had it listed for 15. Sold on an offer for 12. This came from that thread up. 200 pound mixed rescue. So everything at this point is profit. Um, I find that old navy sells pretty well in Mercari. So I do list most of my old navy um, there. And I sell it pretty quickly. I got this loft tweed skirt um, last winter, last summer. I don't even remember. I bought it when I really didn't know what I was doing as far as um, purchasing items. I thought loft was a great brand, which loft is a pretty good like bread and butter brand. Certain things. This took a very long time to sell and it only sold for 16. Had it listed for 25 forever. And when I got a $16 offer, I was like, uh, yeah. This Soma Cool Nights polka dot um, PJs, I literally just got like last weekend. I think it was last weekend and I sold it within two days. It did have the seam was unraveling on the, show, uh, the sleeve. You couldn't really tell. And I had it listed, I think, for 22 and I got an offer for 16 I think I paid $2 for it. I did not notice that the seam was unraveling or I, well, I probably still would have picked it up. Soma does really well. If you have not picked up Soma, you definitely should, especially, especially, no, especially the Cool Nights line. 
This Sincerely Jewels women's cowlneck sweater was kind of a boxy cut, more of a crop style. Um, comps were pretty good. Sincerely Jewels is a brand that I learned about through McThriftsy, one of the YouTubers that I follow and watch videos regularly from. So it sold on an offer for 25. That was fairly consistent with comps. So I went ahead and took it. I paid, I think, $5 for it. These Nine West leather um, for real fur pumps sold for $17. Nine West isn't a big seller, but it is a fairly consistent seller. And I got this in a thread up rescue shoe box. Those are like $5 to $6 a piece, depending on how many you buy. Again, here's a Napier um, necklace, and it was in excellent condition. I got this from Goodwill and sold it for $16. Like I said, I try to spend like $1 to $2 each item when I buy from Goodwill. This Michael Simon Christmas sweater sold within a day. It was great. It had a video um, that I put in there of it jingling, which I don't even know if you'll be able to hear, but let's see here. Oh, no, you can't hear that. I don't know why, but you can't. Um, so it made a jingling sound. I had it listed for 75. I got an offer for 50 and I took it. I paid $4 for it. Free people, um, blue lace halter bra. I think this is my last one. I bought this last summer in a big group from somebody who was selling on, um, a Facebook site, but was clearing out some inventory from their Poshmark closet. So I went ahead and bought this, these from her. I think my like average cost of goods was a little high for this because I didn't really know what I was doing, but I did sell all of them and I did make a profit. I think I maybe paid five or $6 a piece for them, which now looking back is crazy and I would never pay that. These Lane Bryant leggings, I also bought last summer from somebody on a Facebook group. I think it was called quarantine buy and sell or quarantine thrift buy and sell. I think my average cost of goods for all of those items was $6. So by the way, I have kids here. They do not know I'm videoing, so they may be down at any time to interrupt. Yep, I hear them yelling to me. Um, this A and F Abercrombie and Fitch embroidered cropped knit sweater. Yes, I'm making a video. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Report card came out today, so I'm pretty sure that's what she wants to talk to me about. Um so anyway, this sweater I got at a garage sale. I think I paid $2 for it and sold it on an offer for $22. I think I had it listed for $27 or $28. It was a, a darling sweater. I do try to model things when I have time. I do think they sell better that way um, if I can't find a stock photo. This tourmaline um, uh, ring. <laughs> oh my God was gorgeous. Um, again, one of those Goodwill lots, I believe, I'm pretty sure. And so it sold in an offer for 32. I think I had it listed for 40. This is Ben Sherman button down. I got free. So it was completely, um, profit sold it for 16. Again, another Goodwill buy these J crew petite pearl dainty, um, strand neck, uh, necklace. And this actually sold on an offer and I'm pretty sure I gave a shipping discount. Yeah. So I set an offer to just to try to move this. I think I had to list it at 30 and I just wanted to move some inventory. So I sent offers and this was, um, purchased within like 20 minutes of me sending those offers. These two wicker glass holders. So if you don't sell wicker, you should definitely be keeping an eye out. Wicker sells really well. If you look at my um, closet, you'll see I've sold, quite a few wicker, wicker items. Um, these two, I think I got them for like a dollar for the two of them. They're 50 cents each. And I sold them for $11. I find that they're pretty quick. This took like maybe two or three months to sell. They actually sold once, but the lady thought there were three. So I relisted them. She said she was going to purchase them and never did. This Italian silk and wool scarf came from a fun box. I sold it for 20 bucks. I think I had it listed for 30 um, I did model it just so that you could see it on. It was a gorgeous scarf. That fun box was one of my boxes, I believe from this summer and it wasn't a great box. So I'm glad that I sold that because it actually helped me make some money back. This was another item I got in a Joe Mar box. Um, yeah, it was a Joe Mar box of new items and I don't remember now what it was, but I would never buy that box again. And I think my average cost of goods was $6 in that box. And I've just been literally trying to give away the stuff from that box because it was bad. So anyway, 
This anthropology knitted and knotted sweater came from not my last 200 pound thread up rescue box, but the one before that, which is all profit now. This was a petite extra small. So when I got an offer for $11, I just took it. I had it listed for 20. I mean, what am I going to count or 15? Like, so I just took it just to really move it because I don't think I'm going to get a lot of offers for it. It was in super condition though. And it was really pretty. I mean, if it had been my size, I probably would have kept it. This Lauren Ralph Lauren mock neck um, sweater sold outright for thirty dollars. Um, when I went to ship it, it had like makeup on it because it came from a thread up two hundred pound box, not my last one, but I believe the one before that. And I ended up having to wash, spray it again, um, and hand wash the that stain. It was like makeup that I just didn't notice. Which was, you know, when you get those thread up boxes, you definitely want to check. Because if the item has a size tag, it probably has a stain. And I say that because ThreadUp does not keep anything with size tags. So if it doesn't have a size tag, it could be a very fabulous item. And it just doesn't have a size tag, so they won't keep it. Um, but if it does have a size tag, it could very well be stained. And that's why they didn't keep it. Karen Millen is definitely a bolo brand. I had so many likes on this dress. Now, I will say it did not sell fast. I've had this since last summer. I think I listed it in August. So it's been over a year, but it did sell for $60. So um, I paid $6 for it. It's Michael Starr's blouse or blouse, uh, long sleeve Henley uh, or a waffle net, excuse me. Um, I got this last summer also from one of those quarantine buy and sell groups. That was where I got the Karen Millen dress. My average cost of goods, $6. And finally I got an offer on this. It has been sitting. I would not pick up any more Michael Stars. Michael Stars sells everything as OS or one size and it is just not one size. So um, I think all of the Michael Stars things that I bought have sold except one item. So thank God it did all sell, but I would not pick it up unless it was like a dollar. These American Eagle high rise, super skinny jeans came in a Joe Mar American Eagle box that I bought, which I would not do again. I think my average cost of goods was like $5, but they were a size four. So I just sold them on an offer. I had them listed for 30. This Victoria's Secret um, robe was a style of Victoria's Secret that I'd never seen before. And I actually just sold a pair of PJs in the same style today. It's called Victoria's Secret Country. I think it's a vintage line. If you know more about it, please put it in the comments. Um, I paid like literally like $2 for this. It did have um, a little rip right in the back of the um, collar that I did hand sew. So I did just disclose that and I showed a picture of it sewn. It wasn't super noticeable. This is a very up close picture and it sold, I believe, for my asking price of $38. So that was a good buy. I would definitely pick that up again. This Isabel Fiore bag, I literally sold within hours of listing it. It came from my last thread up rescue bag, 15 handbag rescue bag. Um, and those, that is $150, I think, for those 15 bags that you get. They're $10 each. Um, I do have a video of this. I will try to remember to link it. I do not know how to link it up here like some people do. But it sold within, like, hours. So Isabella Fiore is a bolo, like, there were so many high priced items. This sold outright for my asking price. Um, when I looked at the solds, I could not find anything that was exactly like this. So I just relied on something that was similar and I may have been able to list this for more, but I'm still very happy with this, with this sale. These, uh, thermal socks came in this, I believe the same fun box as the scarf that I sold. These sold for $10. Was it on an offer? I don't remember. I think somebody, yeah, somebody offered $10 to me and I accepted it. These are super easy to list, um, to picture and to list. So I don't mind keeping stuff like that and listing it. This Bond Point uh, Girls Dress is a brand that I'd never heard of before. Um, it is definitely a bolo for kids clothing. All of the comps were ridiculously high priced. This came in a kid's 50 pound, I think the kids 50 pound rescue box. Okay. My box was not great. I'm not going to lie. I've sold three items from the box. I think I only kept like maybe 12 items to list individually. I did group a bunch of stuff that I have not yet listed all of it. I listed only one thing. Um, 
My girls did keep some of the items, so it definitely made it worth it. So I've sold three things, and I think I've made like maybe 50 or $60, but I believe it was 120 So I am just hoping to break even on that. I would not buy that kid's rescue box again unless I had little children because I had there were so many items for little kids, like zero to 18 months. Um, and my kids, my youngest is eight. So, you know, I did get quite a few size 12 to 14 girls, but, um, really not enough for it to be worthwhile for me. So, but this is definitely a bolo and I had this listed for 55 and I sold it on an offer for 46. I believe it was 55. These buddy, the elf Christmas PJs, I picked up for $3. Um, they were amazing and I sold them within like a day. Um, it was an offer. I was double checking. Yeah. I sold it on an offer. I only made 1290. I made 10 bucks on them and they moved fast. So I took it. I probably should have held out. I didn't. I kind of am in the philosophy that the more you list, the more you sell, the more you sell, the more you sell. So these socks were sold within like literally 15 minutes. They came from a thread up fun box that I just did a video up and just published, I believe today. Um, and literally they sold within like 15 minutes. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. That fun box I bought at a discount of 15%. So I think the whole thing was like 30 bucks. So this was $12. So I've already made um, a third of my money back. And I got a lot of good stuff in that. So we're just going to skip right ahead because I believe that's all stuff that I didn't mean to leave in there to my Mercari sales. I hope that it opens because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really sad. Okay. So, okay. There we go. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. So I have this written down as well so that I can kind of follow it here. I'm going to take a sip because I'm super dehydrated, I think. So sorry, but make sure you're staying hydrated. So this, um, oh wait, I am missing something. Oh boy. I am missing something. So there was a top shop. Um, so I don't have it here. So I'm just going to tell you what it is. It was a top shop sweater. And I sold it for $16. I had it listed for 20. I sold it on an offer. I had it forever. I got it last summer and it was just like, I was ready to sell it. I was ready to see it gone. So I did sell it and I made $13 and 64 cents. And I know it paid, I paid $6 for it because, because it came from that quarantine thrift buy and sell group from last summer. This Nike hoodie, um, was a hoodie that I got in a men's thread up rescue box. And I spent, I think my average cost of goods was like $4 for that box. And I sold this for $17 and I made $14 and 51 cents. This Veda classic red dolly leather jacket. Oh my God. I was so happy to see it gone because I got this in a designer. Oh no. Oh, rent the runway returns which was literally a disaster. So I just made my money back on that rent the runway returns with this sale. Previously to that, I sold two other things. One was completely damaged. It was Kendall and Kylie overalls. And the other was something that I had to buy buttons to put on. Every single button was missing. I had to hand sew the buttons on and I sold it for like 40 bucks. It was a designer item. It was beautiful, but I don't know. And then all of the other items were super damaged. Um, so I literally couldn't even list anything else besides this and one other item. So I was so happy this sold for $161 and I made $139.93. So I finally made my money back on that box and I would never buy it again. If you've had success with that, please let me know. But I did not. This Ming Wang ombre dotted sweater dress in a size small. Um sold for $21. It came from not the last thread up rescue box, but the previous one. So I've already made my money on that plus a ton more sold for 21 and I made $17 and 99 cents. This Cynthia rally cashmere open front cardigan, um, had a tiny little spot on it somewhere. I showed a picture of it. It sold for 20 and I made $17 and 12 cents. And this came from my last thread up rescue box, which Ended up being like the bomb.com, honestly. So good. So good. This also came from that threat, threat up rescue box. I sold this within like not even a week of listing it on Mercari. I think I, yeah, I listed it for 35. Oh, this tells what I had it listed for before. I had that listed for 30. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, 
I learn something new every day. I never realized that that was on there. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, so anyway, I had that listed for 35 and um, sold it for 28 on an offer. Alex and Annie is kind of hit and miss. I like to pick it up because they're super easy to photograph. Um, they're very easy to clean. I just use a jewelry cleaner that I got from K Jeweler. This I listed for 28 sold it for 23 I literally probably paid like $2 for it, maybe a dollar. And I made $19.73. So then take out the cost of goods. I'm not including the cost of goods on, on any of these. So just the fees from Mercari. So this is one of those items that I got from the kids rescue box that I was telling you about. This sold for 15. I had it listed for 18. It sold within a day. So that was great. It was an H and M dress, but it was, um, also it was a collab with Natalie let, I don't know that designer. Um, and I just looked at comps. There were some other comps, that, you know, they were these two people or H&M and Natalie had, had worked together, collaborated. And I made $12 and 77, 76 cents on that minus my cost of goods, which I have no idea what it was. All right. Now on to eBay. This Reformation dress sold, I had it listed for $74.99, but it sold on an offer for $50. This also came from, um, that last thread up rescue box yeah, my last startup rescue box, which has been phenomenal. So I'm not going to complain about that. I made $50 and 45 cents on it after shipping. Sometimes I like over, I don't, I overestimate shipping. Sometimes I underestimate shipping. So sometimes I actually make money on shipping and sometimes I lose money on shipping. So this LL Bean jacket, I picked up locally at my Salvation Army for probably like three or $4 and I sold it for $37 on an offer. Um, I wonder why the other one didn't say the offer. That's weird. Anyway, I made $34 and 86 cents on that. And I did not take out the cost of goods for it. So this I sold on an offer for $40. It was a Columbia jacket. I do know that I paid $8 for this. So I did pay up, but it was an excellent condition. And I just knew with the winter season that it, it would sell. So I went ahead and picked it up for $8 and I made $35 and 35 cents on it and take out the $8. So I actually only made, you know, 27, but this banana Republic came from that last 200 pound thread up rescue box. So at this point, everything is profit sold it for 15. And after everything, I made $14 and 87 cents again, not including cost of goods. It's Woolridge jumper, Woolrich jumper. The Woolrich can sell very well. This was new with tags and it was vintage dead stock. I really expected it to sell better than that. I think I had it listed for only 35, but that's after like lowering my price. I picked this up this summer. I knew it wouldn't sell right away, but I really thought it would sell quicker, especially since it's a large took that offer because why not? I did make $19 and 28 cents. I believe I paid $4 for that. Okay. So this was like the biggest disappointment in history. I had so many offers on this on Poshmark, but I decided I would try selling this Gap vintage um, denim tote bag, this weekender bag, auction style, thinking maybe I'll make more money. I'd never done an auction style before, and I probably will never do one again unless it's something that's super lucrative. Um, I'm just still feeling out eBay. I just finally, um, opened an eBay store. I just finally am able to list more than 250 items. So I'm like basically not even knowing what I'm doing half the time on eBay. Um, so it did only sell for 1850, which I mean, lesson learned. And I made $15 and 52 cents. I probably literally paid a dollar for it. So I'm not mad about it, but I do know that this would have sold for much more. I got like offers for 40 45 and I'd seen comparables sold on Poshmark for like 70. So yeah. Anyway, lesson learned. This Rebecca Minkoff bag sold on an offer for $30. And the reason I did accept it is because it did have some damage along the side. Like the, the wire was poking through. Um, this came from my last 15 bag rescue box. Um, wait, not my last one one before the last one. 
all of my rescue boxes are blurring together. Is anybody feeling my, my woes here? Um, so I did accept that offer for $30 and I made $25.32. Those bags, um, I think, I think that was in a 15 bag, I think. So those are $10 each. So not a great sale, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Not one of my favorite sayings, by the way. This came from my last thread up 200 pound rescue box. Again, $2.40 average cost of goods. Everything at this point is, um, it's profit. So I sold it for 15 and I made 12.51 minus my $2.40 cost of goods. This, um, Marina wool knit beanie cap. Um, this was like at my Salvation Army and they had just a bunch of bins out with hats and I just dug through and I found a bunch of these older hats and I paid 50 cents each. So yeah, I listed them pretty cheap. It did sell for $11.90 on an offer, and I made $10.68. Okay, now my Facebook sales. Okay, what in the heck? Kitty heck. Okay, that's not one of my Facebook sales. Okay, so I am so sorry. I am obviously not good at this. I'm probably going to have a bunch of pop-ups. So these Bear Paw boot liners came in not my last thread of box that I did a video on, but the one before that. They sold on Facebook Marketplace within like 20 minutes. Offer for $12 and I made $11.14 on them. And here we go. <laughs> this Disney Parks shirt was probably the worst pickup I've ever picked up. And then I made a huge mistake and offered to pay for shipping made shipping free and didn't think about that when I listed it for $6. So I only made $2 and 10 cents. And I know for a fact I paid $3 for it. So authentic Disney parks normally sells very good. And I just don't know why it did not sell this very well. Uh, it didn't sell very quickly. It didn't sell very high. I kind of thought I would get 15 for it at least. Um, oh, well. Lesson learned, pay more attention when I'm listing stuff on Facebook Marketplace. This North Face Ear Warmer Headband. I had so many likes on Poshmark with this. Um, it did sell very quickly on Facebook Marketplace for $10. This came from the Salvation Army. The same as that other Merino wool uh, hat that I showed you from eBay. And I paid 50 cents for it. It sold for 10 bucks, And I made $6.40 because... I, yeah, I paid for shipping on this too. Whoopsie, but that's okay. And then last but not least, my last item that I sold on Facebook Marketplace are these Pottery Barn baby sunglasses. I bought a huge lot on Goodwill. And when I got the lot, I was like junk. Um, I will be lucky to make my money back. I think I spent like $160 on all of these sunglasses. Previously to this law, I've done pretty well in sunglasses, sunglasses lots on Goodwill. This was just super junk. I mean, bad. So I lotted a lot of, I, lot, I actually lotted a bunch of them together to list on Facebook or um, on Poshmark and then the other sites. But this weekend I actually took individual pictures hoping to maybe just sell, sell them for $10. At least they're easy to take photos of. So I sold it for 12 and I made $11.05. So that is it. I do not know how to make my face big. So yeah. Um, Thank you so much for staying with me, sticking with me. Again, if you stayed all the way to the end, God bless you. Um, it was a good week last week. Heading into this week, looks like it's going to be a good week as well. So I am very happy with these sales. Um, check out my Poshmark closet at Teaching for Tips. Um, it's in my About section, so my bio. And um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I certainly would appreciate it. And if you have subscribed, please hit that like button and turn the notifications on by clicking the bell. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Have a great afternoon and I hope you have fabulous sales. Bye everybody.